Brandon, Mississippi, first run on Friday. First, I want to call your attention to the ring surface. Lots of ruts presented lots of problems. Okay, this is Maxie's first run, like I said, on Friday. It was his fastest run of the whole weekend. He finished the run with almost 26 speed points and at least 8 seconds ahead of the next fastest 8 inch dog. He has a few wide turns, but mostly he does pretty well. He runs his weaves, unfortunately. Didn't get that one on video. He's very enthusiastic, nice running contact. Really nice seesaw. I mean, this is just a crackerjack way for us to start the weekend. Unfortunately, this is a non-qualifying score because you see I'm pulling left, but you can already see he's heading to the right end of the tunnel. And this results in our non-qualifying score. What a heartbreaker for us. Okay, this is Maxie's excellent jumpers run on Friday. Also a pretty fast run. Um, felt like we were doing pretty good together. Unfortunately, as you'll see in a little while, he, uh, he does run his weaves. Uh, you, what you can't see is he enters into the second weave pole and comes out the wrong side, I think. But anyway, we're running pretty good until we get to right about here where I try to put in a front cross and he stops forward motion. See, I didn't put my cross in the right place. He read that as go around the jump. Then I had to go back and put him over. Judge gave us an NQ on that because, of course... The dog cannot stop forward motion on course. Rest of the run was fine. He's running not quite as fast as the first run of the day, but still plenty good for me. There we go. Okay, this is our first run on Saturday. Excellent jumpers. I'm going to call your attention to the course conditions which are much better. No ruts. This starts out pretty good. Max runs pretty fast. We seem to be fairly well connected, but here he's going to enter the wrong side of the weaves and then skip the next one. Exiting on what looks like okay. Judge raises her hand for that, of course. And now, watch this. Watch what happens here. I pull hard to the left. But you can already see Max has seen the tunnel entrance and goes in the wrong side of the tunnel. This is the second time he does that this weekend. So, all we can do is just continue on our run. The rest of the run is good. Fast enough, enthusiastic, uneventful. And out we go with another non-qualifying score. Okay, here's Maxie's excellent standard run on Saturday. He's running pretty fast. He does pretty well. I get him in the correct end of the tunnel. Yay! Good running contact again. Took a really wide turn there after the shoot, but then he guess he couldn't tell where I was. Now I get in a front cross here. Takes a good seesaw, and here's where he makes his mistake. He goes in the wrong side of the weaves. Then he walks his weaves, which causes him a lot, a lot of wasted time. And that's one of the reasons why our standard course time was so low. Otherwise, he seems to be running fairly good. He's not knocking any bars. Still seems enthusiastic. So that was our last NQ of the weekend. Yay! Alright, this is our, ex our master standard run. <coughs> this 
This is Maxie's first Q over the weekend with 19 mock points and a second place win. Um, his yards per second are a little slower than the rest of the weekend, but it was still enough. Mm, he walks his weaves. And that's the only reason the boy didn't get first place. Oh, I almost, he almost took that dog walk. Somebody comments that I told the dog to get out. I'll have to look at that again and see if that's true. He runs his dog walk until he gets to the down part and then he walks it. I'm trying to fix that. And yeah, it is towards me. I should have pushed a little more of the tunnel. Anyway, that was a qualifying score, and I'm proud of that. Sunday jumpers, and this is Maxi. Maxi's not running as fast as he was the rest of the weekend. Um, he actually does his weaves, but he walks them very slowly. My heart's in my throat, of course. Babysitting every single weave. That's not right. If he hadn't walked those weaves, he probably would have gotten second or third place. I did put in a little blind cross. He does follow my lead. Notice I lifted my left hand and he followed my lead to the tunnel. He doesn't do those shoulder pulls. He follows my hands. It's one of the things I learned. All these things about where your feet are going where your shoulders are pulling to, it doesn't matter with Max. He needs, he needs to see your hands. So that's the end of our weekend, and we go home with one double Q.